the seventh and eighth games of the World Chess Championship were drawn again. The seventh was a solid draw, for Diana has easily equalized with black. Neither opponent had real chances. However, in the eighth game, the challenger had advantage and a real opportunity to score, but he didn't. Let me offer one more explanation. Jiri, the king of draws, feasts on the battlefield of the World Chess Championship. Good evening, dear chess friends. My name is Artem Smirnov and I will review the games of the World Chess Championship between Magnus Carlsen and Fabiana Caruana. In the seventh game, Carlsen was white. He played d4, knight f6, knight f3, d5, c4, e6. Now it's queen's gambit declined. A very solid setup for black. Knight d2. Earlier, Carlsen has tried rook d1 in this position without big success. Knight d2. Queen d8. <coughs> Uh, as Jiri has mentioned in his Twitter, knight f3 uh, could be a good choice here, offering a draw immediately after queen a5, knight d2. But of course, uh, it wasn't um, Carson's wish to draw the game immediately, and uh, he tried to put pressure on the challenger. Knight b3, bishop b6. Bishop e2. Rook d1 looks robust here. Queen e7. Bishop e2. Uh, and now d takes c4. This looks okay. And after bishop c4, rook d8. Black, uh, black is close to equalizing the position. But uh, still white is pushing. White has tiny advantage. Uh, if black uh, plays bishop d7 instead of d takes c4, white has c5, knight d5, takes takes queen b1, and uh, after this small combination, white has two bishops and advantage. Magnus played bishop e2, queen e7, uh, bishop g5, d takes c4. Well, Fabiana says, uh, come on, Magnus, I'm going to exchange uh, the central pawns and then rooks on the d-file. How are you going to win this position? And uh, Magnus tries knight d2 instead of bishop c4 with, equal with equality. Knight d2, uh, the knight uh, may go on e4. Knight e5 uh, is the best option here and uh, Carlsen castles. After knight c4, bishop d7, knight takes, g takes, bishop h6, white destroys the black king castle, the white destroys the black's king castle, but it's not enough to get advantage here, uh, because black is a pawn up, uh, and white has no real initiative on the king's side, and this position is even better for black here. After the castle, it was bishop d7, bishop f4, knight g6, bishop c7, exchanging the bishops, takes, takes, rook d1, the rooks are exchanged, the knights, the bishops, and finally this position is pretty drawish here, Magnus plays e4, uh, restricting the bishop on b7, but uh, after queen c7, the bishop goes to a6, attacking the knight, and black exchange queens, f6, f4. Uh, f4 um, is the best option here, because uh, if white takes on f6, uh, then pawn takes, and uh, this position is better for black. Black has bishop versus knight endgame, and uh, 
these pawns on a3 and c3 are really weak in this position but of course uh, magnus plays f4 he understands uh, these end games very well and uh, the position is drawish <coughs> because the knight on d6 controls uh, all these squares uh, and is slightly better than the bishop on a6 but black has better pawn structure after king e3 black attacks the g2 pawn white defends and the bishop retreats offering a draw and the game was drawn finally okay let's go to the eighth game uh, Karana was white, he played e4 and here he opted for d4 instead of Rostolima b bishop b5 d4, c takes d4, knight takes d4, knight f6 here is the Sveshnikov creation uh, it was expected by the chess experts and uh, of course by both competitors d6 knight d5 but knight d5 uh, looks like a surprising move for Magnus Carlsen because uh, the main line nowadays is bishop g5 6 knight f3 b5 c3 or c4 c4 is also possible in this position producing the good square for the knight on a3 or maybe even bishop f6 on the 8th move or destroying the pawn structure uh, in the game it was knight d5 knight takes pawn takes knight b8 and a4 looks like the most promising continuation in this position for white bishop d2 f5 was in the game other options are a6 with equality here in the game Oparian Gelfand, knight f6 uh, is another choice uh, again uh, it was the game Oparian and Gelfand again the position is about equality but f5 was played in the game a5, a6 uh, instead of a6 uh, f is possible knight f6 and black has some kind of counterplay on the king side in this position uh, after a6 knight f3 the knight gets the fine square on b6 in future uh, e4 knight c4 knight e5 offering the knight's exchange knight b6 looks like after knight e5 d takes e5 c4 white gets better pawn structure and uh, these centralized pawns uh, are really strong but uh, black has fine counterplay on the king side after f4 it may be f3 somewhere bishop g4 bishop c5 uh, now the bishop is active on this diagonal and uh, black's position is even more pleasant here uh, though the engine evaluates this like equal but for a human being black has initiative it was knight b6 in the game of course this move is better rook b8 f4 a very strong positional decision now black has to either retreat the knight or exchange on f3 which was in the game but uh, now the strong e4 pawn is exchanged g5 i'm sure fabiano didn't expect it uh, pretty much but uh, he was well prepared uh, instead of g5 a fall is possible but here white is also uh, slightly better after g5 fabiano played c4 bishop c3 and he did it very quickly i suppose he wasn't his home preparation c5 he has sought on c5 about 33 minutes 
it's not uh, a really complex move for a chess player of his level but uh, it's a very responsible move c5 was played Carlson took on f3 after g4 white plays bishop e2 and takes the f3 pawn and now black has no compensation for the pawn uh, bishop f6 could be the best option but after bishop e2 white has advantage here so it was knight f3 in the game queen takes d takes rook ad1 is it's one of the best options in this position d6 is threatening the norwegian supercomputer sesse evaluated this position like absolutely winning for white but of course uh, even for the world championship and for the challenger it's far from obvious uh, both of them understood that uh, this position is much better for white uh, bishop d6 it was necessary to block the depot and h3 a very inert move was made on the board it was an invisible jewish hand to push the h pawn to my mind queen e8 uh, instead of h3 a logical knight c4 gives white huge advantage in this position g4 attacking the queen f3 but uh, white plays rook f1 because there are no dangerous threats here and uh, after all these moves white has better end game due to the strong d6 pawn of course it's not winning right now but to my mind it should be winning white is much better here after h3 carlson realized that he has to move the king towards g6 square knight c4 queen g6 and uh, the position is close to equality knight took on d6 queen takes h4 um, is the best option for white to my mind because uh, white has to destroy the black spawn chain on the king side although after all these exchanges the position is almost drawish again and here the game was drawn after the eighth round the score is equal eight draws will we see at least one effective game in the match nobody knows thank you goodbye